Hello viewers and welcome to another wonderful program on health. Um, my name is Priska Chilea and I have my usual guests to talk about um, a plant-based diet uh, as we have been doing in this segment. If you've missed out on the previous segments, please look for them and watch them and you will really be happy that you watched them. With me in the studio is my regular guest that I've been uh, talking with for some time now. And I have Dr. Daniel Ganu, mm -hmm. who is a professor of public health at the Adventist University of Africa in Kenya. He is uh, passionate about health. So what you get here is not only credible, it's coming from his heart. I also have Sister Debbie Baloba. She is the uh, director for women's uh, ministries as well as children's ministries at this East Central Africa Division. Mm -hmm. It is also in Kenya. Like I always love to say, the East Central Africa Division is the regional office of the Seventh-day Adventist Church in East Africa. And so if you need anything about women, children, and now even plant-based food, come and see Sister Debbie. Mm -hmm. And to begin our program uh, today, I would like for us to continue where we left off. Mm. So many questions came up about vitamin B12 that we couldn't cover and sufficiently answer a pre on our previous uh, episode. Now I will start with you, Dr. Ganu. How do I know that this is sufficient vitamin B12 uh, if I am using, for example, nutritional yeast? How mm. do I know that this is oh. enough nutritional yeast? Mm to cover my vitamin B12 needs for mm. the day? Mm -hmm. Good, that's a good question. Mm. You know, when you talk about 2.4 microgram, microgram per day, that's uh, very little, it's, mm -hmm. it's minute. Um, but um, I believe that you have been taking your supplement also. Um, so um, if you are taking your supplement and you are using uh, nutritional yeast, mm -hmm. I, I can be sure and I can assure you that you may be meeting um, your, your requirement per day. Mm -hmm. you know, so nutritional yeast is a lot, it's fortified with B12 mm -hmm. and it's, it's so good in, 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 in B12. So th that, that I think, you sh I believe you will be meeting your requirement per day. Now I have read I, I don't know how credible the authors are, I haven't really tried to check, mm. that you can get B12 from chickpeas, you can get B12 from beetroot. How true is that? No, let's get it once and for all that B12 does not come from any plant. Mm -hmm. It is food. B12, for now, researches that have been done as where we are now, we are sure that B12 comes from animal product. Maybe in the near future, researchers will come mm. to tell us that, oh, no, no, we are wrong. We don't have uh, B12 only from animal food. We also have it from beetroot. Mm. But I can say for sure mm -hmm. that B12 is gotten only from animal product. Wow. Yes. Sister Maloba, have you had any interesting sources of B12 so far? You know, uh Except animals, mm -hmm. I will never, never, never advise people to lie on uh, plants for their B12. For the, uh, the B12. Mm -hmm. As Professor uh, Gano said, mostly to help our viewers, mm -hmm. those who will think, where am I going to find it? Am I supposed to go and see uh, my medical doctors so that they advise me or nutritionist? I think the, 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 the first way and the easier way is to know that most of our cereals, mm. they contain yeah. those B12. They are fortified. Fortified mm. B12. That is what I take as my reference. Mm. So every morning when I take uh, any kind of cereals, and also it is written, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, you will laugh with me, my, 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 my daughter, Tanya, when we buy those cereals, mm -hmm. the first thing she, she, she reads is what are the ingredients mm -hmm. oh. and also the dates mm -hmm. wow. of expiration. Mm -hmm. So it has been our habit. And mm -hmm. I'm very happy here in Kenya where we live. Mm -hmm. 
this is a good habit mm -hmm. in school. Mm -hmm. They teach them to check mm -hmm. the ingredients mm -hmm. and also the dates. Mm -hmm. That helps them. Mm -hmm. But for our viewers, who sometimes may not uh, be able to read, mm -hmm. they have to make sure that in cereals, uh, we, we, we are assured that we have the fortified B12. Mm -hmm. That is what helps me, mm -hmm. yes. Now, Dr. Ganu, mm -hmm. I have also seen some people marketing kombucha, the drink from a Scooby, from, it's like tea that's made with the, uh, uh, some Scooby, they call it Scooby, I don't know, it's a fungus mm. that kind of digests the sugar in there and then this tea ferments. And then there's sauerkraut, the fermented cabbage, and s s a lot of fermented drinks, mm. and they say they contain by vitamin B12. How true is that? I mean, I'm not very sure mm -hmm. to say categorically mm -hmm. that yes, they contain B12. Mm -hmm. um, if I am a plant-based diet vegetarian, mm -hmm. like I have always said, if I will err, mm -hmm. I will err on the side of caution. Mm -hmm. You know, even if they contain B12, I'm not very sure. I will mm -hmm. still take my supplement mm -hmm. to be able to be on the safer side. Mm -hmm. You know, one thing about B12 that we should all know mm -hmm. is that even digestion is a problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It has two steps mm -hmm. of digestion, B12. Mm -hmm. When you eat B12, it is together with the, with the animal product. Mm -hmm. In the stomach, the hydrochloric acid we have in the stomach has to now split mm -hmm. the B12 from the food that mm -hmm. you eat with. Mm -hmm. The hydrochloric acid does that first. Mm -hmm. Now, once hydrochloric acid has now splitted B12 from mm -hmm. the food, mm -hmm. now B12 is alone. Mm -hmm. B12 cannot even be digested on its own. Mm -hmm. It needs a protein carrier mm -hmm. known as intrinsic factor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. intrinsic. That intrinsic factor mm -hmm. is the one that will now carry B12 mm -hmm. to be digested, mm -hmm. I mean to be absorbed mm -hmm. into the body. Now, there are many things that can inhibit B12 absorption. Mm -hmm. Especially when you are aging, mm -hmm. the elderly, mm -hmm. their hydrochloric acid production becomes lesser and lesser. Mm -hmm. And their intrinsic factor, the, the, the protein, mm -hmm. the, the glycoprotein carrier, mm -hmm. the, the production of that intrinsic factor mm -hmm. is also diminishing. Mm -hmm. you know? That is why those who are plant-based diet at this age, at their vibrant age, and are always saying, ah, we don't have a problem. Mm -hmm. By the time they get to their old age, it will be mm -hmm. Sure, they will have a problem. Mm -hmm. And beside that, there are many conditions, many um, autoimmune diseases that mm -hmm. will prevent mm -hmm. absorption of B12. For example, let mm -hmm. me show you, many older people older adults mm -hmm. do not have enough hydrochloric acid mm -hmm. in their stomach for B12 absorption. We have said that. Mm -hmm. Number two, those with the autoimmune disease called atrophic gastritis. Okay. Atrophic ga gastritis. Mm -hmm. These people, they make very little hydrochloric acid. Mm -hmm. And they may make no intrinsic factor. Mm -hmm. That's an autoimmune disease. Secondly, mm -hmm. those with a condition known as pernicious anemia, mm -hmm. they do not make intrinsic factor. Mm -hmm. So you may eat, yeah. and those ones will, 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 will depend on um, maybe um, um, B12, B12 that is injected mm -hmm. okay. or, yeah. And when you go to a certain area in Europe, you know, those um, areas like La Latvia, mm -hmm. they, this condition is very prevalent. They, oh, okay. yeah, they have autoimmune diseases. Okay. And, and so they are very you know, deficient in B12. So what, what can one do to improve the absorption of vitamin B12 if you don't have any autoimmune conditions? Mm -hmm. 
you know, it's automatic once you are in your youthful age, your vibrant age, you have enough hydrochloric acid and you have enough intrinsic factor, but as the thing is, as you age, mm -hmm. those it other diminish. things diminish. Mm -hmm. The hydrochloric acid production diminishes. Mm -hmm. The intri intrinsic factor production diminishes. Mm -hmm. So, and, and even as you age, you need your, your daily requirement also becomes okay. higher. Okay. More. Mm -hmm. uh, but you don't have to worry when you are at your youthful age and mm -hmm. you are eating well mm -hmm. and you are taking supplements. You, you have, unless maybe you know you have a condition mm -hmm. that will prevent the production of uh, these two things, hydrochloric acid mm -hmm. and then the intrinsic Interesting. factor. Mm -hmm. If you don't have any condition that will inhibit the production of these things, you don't have to worry. Mm. You, you have your B12. Thank you. Requirement. Thank you so much. Sister Malova, do you have anything to add to what he has just shared yeah, with I us? I was just thinking mm -hmm. uh, of my viewers, how to help them. We need to be aware. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Really to be aware and be informed. Mm -hmm. You know, there are people who don't want to be informed. Mm. Uh, living in, in ignorance, mm. <laughs> can I call it a sin? Mm. <laughs> it's a sin <laughs> because it affects your health. Sure, sure. Yes, I, I, need, I really need uh, to be healthy and to live uh, in well-being. Mm. I need to be informed. Mm -hmm. I need to seek that information which will help me. True. This is what we will request mm -hmm. and recommend to mm. our viewers. Mm -hmm. Make sure that what you eat, you have also that supplementation mm -hmm. on B12, so that even that absorption will also uh, go smoothly mm -hmm. and it will contribute to your health. Mm -hmm. Very important for our health. Thank you so much for clarifying that. Viewers, I, I just want to emphasize the fact that make sure you get your information from credible sources. Yes. yes. Because the questions I've been asking came from social media sharings mm. from people who have studied science mm -hmm. telling me you can get B12 from beetroot. Mm. Wow. And so we really need to make sure we are getting our information from credible sources. Yes. Even if we find it on social media, let's confirm mm. with someone who can really uh, help us verify and make mm. sure we are doing the correct thing mm. for our own good. Mm. Now, Dr. Ganu, I've heard of the Mediterranean diet. Yeah, okay. Can, or you want to sh yeah, say something, to before, something we move okay. before we move okay. in there. Mm. Now, the question probably could be, how do I know that mm -hmm. I am deficient? Oh, yes, in yes, yes. yes. What are the signs and symptoms? Now, yeah. if you are practicing plant-based diet for some time, mm -hmm. and you are experiencing some of these signs and symptoms that I'm going to mention, mm -hmm. then you, you better Good. check with your, with your doctor. Mm -hmm. Number one, um, which is very sure signs and symptoms of vitamin B12 deficiency is numbness mm -hmm. and tingling mm -hmm. in your extremities. Mm -hmm. Extremi uh, yeah, extremities, tingling, you know, mm -hmm. as if you, they are pricking you with needle. Mm -hmm. you know, it's a nervous problem. Mm -hmm. You are almost experiencing nervous breakdown. Mm -hmm numbness you know you, mm. you don't you don't feel so it's a sure sign i have met a lot of people mm. who are who depended on plant-based diet and mm -hmm. have experienced mm -hmm. that was even one i took myself drove in my car to the hospital mm -hmm. and lo and behold he was diagnosed of b12 deficiency mm -hmm. number two poor balance okay yeah. It's also a never no a nervous uh, problem. Mm -hmm. Poor balance. You cannot walk straight. You cannot think straight, mm -hmm. and then your balance is not you know symmetrical. Mm -hmm. You know it's, it can be mm -hmm. problem of B twelve deficiency. Mm -hmm. Then number three, mm -hmm. memory loss problems. Mm -hmm. you, know, you, you know short memory loss. Mm -hmm. You, often you forget. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You are youthful, but you tend to forget. Mm -hmm. you know, if you are aging, other pro, you know, memory loss problems like dementia and mm -hmm. all these things can come. But if you are on plant-based diet, mm -hmm. please take note. Mm -hmm. And then the last two 
uh, anemia. Mm -hmm. And anemia, we know why anemia should come because we have said B12 is mm -hmm. used in blood, red blood cell mm -hmm. production. Mm -hmm. So if your red blood cell production surface, mm -hmm. definitely For you sure. will suffer from anemia. Mm -hmm. And the last one is you are easily fatigued. Mm. Is in fact thick. So these are sure signs or cardinal signs of B12 deficiencies. Watch out for those if you are practicing plant-based diet. So what can I do in that case? For example, I'm feeling dizzy, I can't mm. balance very well. Mm. What, what do I do? Yeah, you can need, I be helped? Yes, you can be helped. It is not too late. Mm -hmm. But if you stay and it becomes too late, mm. every disease, every mm. condition, mm. early detection is the key. Mm -hmm. You know, when it is detected early and, you know, you know actions are taken to correct the problem. Mm -hmm. um, once you begin to notice some of these signs and symptoms, mm -hmm. go for screening, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, and ensure. And once it is detected, the doctor will prescribe supplement for you, will advise you, and it can be corrected. Okay. It can be corrected. Yeah, maybe to add to this one, mm -hmm. you know, uh, according to our lifestyle, mm -hmm. people do not want to go to, the, to clinics mm -hmm. and hospitals mm -hmm. just to be checked. Mm -hmm. May it be our lifestyle and habit Mm -hmm. Once I feel uh, that I'm not balanced, mm -hmm. I feel dizzy, I feel my muscles are weak, mm -hmm. can I go just sure. for screening sure. and, and, mm -hmm. and, and, and ask for advices? For sure. Because it will be less, it will be less costly mm -hmm. than wait when it becomes now worse mm -hmm. and you go. Mm -hmm. You will spend a lot of money. And at sometimes they will tell you it is too late. Thank you so much for highlighting that. I think if we are on a plant-based diet, it's important to consistently Sometimes, check yeah. on how we are doing health-wise by really having um, a health check every once in a while so mm. that we know how we are faring. You wanted to say something? Yes, yes Sister Priska. Yes. You know, I tend to divide people into three categories. Mm -hmm. There are those who are apparently healthy, mm -hmm. but they are not. Mm -hmm. If they go for screening, you know, diseases begin in the cellular level. Yes. Mm. You know, so you may be strong, you may look uh, healthy, mm -hmm. but the disease is in the cellular level. Mm -hmm. It has not come out. You, you cannot see the signs and symptoms, so mm -hmm. you feel you are okay. Mm -hmm. yes. But if you go for screening, some of these tests can detect yeah. The diseases at the cellular level. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when it is at that stage, mm -hmm. it can easily be taken care of. Yeah. Okay. And then there are those who look healthy and sure, they are healthy. Mm -hmm. You can go for screening, there will yeah. be no disease. Yes. Then there are those people who are sick. Mm -hmm. They feel they are sick and indeed they are sick because mm -hmm. the signs and symptoms have come out. Mm -hmm. The problem is we want to belong to the third category before we go to the hospital. Oh. <laughs> that is a problem we have. Mm. You know, if you are apparently healthy or you are healthy, can you just go for screening? Yeah. Yes, yes. Early detection mm. for sure. disease. Mm. Yesterday, in, you know, last Sabbath in church, a, a friend of mine told me, oh, he has lost a sister to cancer because mm -hmm. the cancer was detected too late. Too late. Too late. Okay. It is mostly in Africa here mm -hmm. that we detect cancer almost when it is at the third or fourth grade. Mm -hmm. Mostly. Mm -hmm. we, it's, it's, it's not common to detect cancer when it is in the first stage. Yes, all because we don't go for, yeah, for medical checks. Medical mm -hmm. check mm -hmm. yeah. Dear viewers, you have it. Please ensure that you regularly um, Go for health checks mm -hmm. so that you are able to know the status of your well-being. And we can be helped quickly as opposed to waiting until it's too late. Mm -hmm. Sister Malova, do you have something to add? Yeah, mm. uh, always we, we have something to add. Yes. Uh, our health matters. Mm -hmm. If our health matters, we need also to do our best. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To do our best. To help ourselves. Mm. True. Because there are people who think they, their life, they don't take it seriously. Mm. Mm. 
So if uh, these supplement, supplementations are there, available, why can't I use them mm -hmm. in my diet? Mm -hmm. And make sure that when I eat in the morning, my breakfast, my lunch, my supper, I make sure that I have that supplement yes. mm -hmm. in my diet. And, and, and maybe um, we, we are talking about health checks only for people on plant-based diet, mm -hmm. but I think it's essential it's for everyone. 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 Yes. Uh, yeah. Actually, when it comes to screening, mm -hmm. we, we, are not, we, we do not want to single out any particular. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's everybody. Mm -hmm. Whether even, even those meat, heavy meat eaters need it more mm -hmm. than those on plant-based diet because meat can cause a lot of havoc. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, Maybe just to, add, uh -huh. just to add, just to add, let's ask God to help us mm -hmm. to remove all fear. Mm -hmm. You know, people would like to stay with their status uh, without going because they, they think they are safe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I do remember, me too, mm -hmm. I was not used to those uh, checkups. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm very happy because every two years mm -hmm. I have to go. But when I went for the first time, mm -hmm. I was afraid. I was afraid mm -hmm. to death mm -hmm. because I didn't want to hear anything. Mm -hmm. For me, I thought, hey, they will discover something. Mm -hmm. That is what is happening mm -hmm. <laughs> with some of us. Mm -hmm. Go. Mm -hmm. Go there. If they detect something, they will help you. Mm -hmm. If not, you praise God. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> so, so in essence, you're saying people don't want to go because they are afraid. They are afraid. It's not just that they, they just feel healthy, but yeah. they are afraid yeah, of something some uh, being um, found out. Yeah. Dr. Gano, I want you to just emphasize this point. Can you yes. just explain to the viewers why we should regularly go for checkups? See, yes. if you are afraid, <laughs> mm -hmm. your your status of being afraid will rather kill you, mm -hmm. will land you into a problem because you are afraid, you don't want to go, the mm -hmm. disease is there. Mm -hmm. the, the fact that you are afraid that wouldn't make it go away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The disease is growing, is growing, you are afraid. By the time you see the signs and symptoms and you go to the hospital, it is too it late. It is late. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But then, if you put the fear aside and mm. you go, mm. you are bold mm. and you go and the disease is detected, it is at the cellular level. Mm. Early detection can easily take care of the disease. Mm -hmm. Can easily take care. So because you are afraid and you don't want to go, you are putting yourself rather in a danger, mm -hmm. in a very, very bad situation. Mm -hmm. So please, like Madame Maloba has said, mm. don't be afraid. Mm. Go when the disease is detected. Mm. The doctors can easily and, and safer, in a safer way, take care of it mm. than allowing the disease to grow mm. for the signs and symptoms to show mm. before you go to the hospital. Yeah. It may be too late for you. Mm. Thank you so much about that. You know, I was just wondering, can I, can I have vitamin B12 supplementation through injections? Maybe someone may be wondering out there because you're saying they inject B12. Can I have injections of B12 instead of worrying about supplementation? The injection is there mm -hmm. to give to those who need it urgently, mm -hmm. very badly and very urgently. Mm -hmm. Chances are that if you go to the hospital and you are diagnosed of B12, they may, even if you request for injection, they may not give you mm -hmm. unless the situation is a worse. bit, a bit, uh, it's worse. Mm -hmm. But taking the supplement is a preventive measure. Mm -hmm. Prevention is better than cure. cure. And we also say an ounce of prevention is better than a pound of cure. Mm -hmm. So, and we don't value, we, the problem with this is we don't value prevention because we don't see mm -hmm. the immediate result. Mm -hmm. But the long-term result is rather beneficial. Mm -hmm. you know, you may, yes, you may not see immediate results, but it is helping you. Mm -hmm. So you, you, you don't need injection. You mm -hmm. need injection when it has become so necessary. Okay. Good. Thank you so much for clarifying mm -hmm. that. 
So um, I, I, I love the fact that you, you said we, we don't like prevention because we can't mm -hmm. see immediate, immediate results. Result. It reminds me of one psychiatrist who said they are never appreciated because you never see the result of their work. Mm. Because yeah. it's only when somebody commits suicide mm. that you see that mm. someone failed. But he says our successes are never known. Mm. That is true. So I, 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 I relate to the same yeah. Um, yeah. issue when it comes to uh, B12 um, matters. We, we don't appreciate yeah. having it to protect us, mm. but we want to now look for it mm. when we are when sick. We are exactly. Thank yes. you so much for clarifying that. Mm. I, I, I hope that viewers, you have valuable information now when it comes to matters of a plant-based diet, but especially the vital part that B12 plays in our diet and in our bodily functions. We cannot live without mm. it. And we would be doing harm to ourselves. You would rather carry on on an animal best diet than be deficient in vitamin B12 mm -hmm. if you are unable to supplement because it's not helpful to kill yourself in mm -hmm. trying to be healthy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I hope that um, with this information we'll be able to uh, practice a plant best diet in a wholesome and healthful manner. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for coming uh, mm -hmm. to our program again today. And thank you, viewers. This is uh, all we had for you today. But before we go away, I will ask Sister Debbie Malola to close for us in prayer. Thank you. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we thank you. We thank you and glorify your name because you love us. We thank you because you created us. Your intention was to create us and live healthy. But Father, somehow, we find ourselves from time to time in difficulties. We thank you because our discussion has taught us and instructed us and informed us that we need to care for our health. We need to take advantage of also being checked from time to time so that we may be sure that we are healthy. Thank you, Lord, for helping us even to provide the food when we decide to be uh, plant-based diet uh, followers and practitioners, we need to be wise while using it, but supplementation of those vitamin B12 is very crucial and important in our lives. Help us, Father, to think of using it in our lives and help us to see the result and even to prevent the worst that may come because of the deficiency of this. Thank you for this topic and thank you for this information. For we ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.